Hey everybody, Chad Kaler here, Beck's Field Agronomist for Northeast Illinois. Today I have with me John Skinner. John's a Central Region Agronomy Manager for Beck's. And today we're in a cornfield, July 6, 2020, and we're talking about tar spot. So John, uh, tell us a little bit about what tar spot actually is in corn. Sure. Uh, tar spot is a leaf disease of corn. It's called, caused by the fungal pathogen Phyochromatus. And uh, it's been around in, in Illinois, first identified in 2015. And we've seen it subsequently every year since then with our big damaging year being 2018 in it. Okay, so for our area, it's a fairly fairly new disease, or fairly new disease as far as what we've been seeing in the field. So um, as far as what kind of weather conditions we can see that maybe promote um, tar spot and corn, give us some information on that. Sure, it's gonna be a lot like the conditions we're familiar with of the northern corn leaf blight. Okay. So we like that, it likes that 60 to 70 degree temperature it likes continued leaf wetness for up to about seven hours to cause infection. So we need cool, we need wet, and it also likes high relative humidity. Above that 75% relative humidity mark is really where it thrives in those cooler, wetter conditions. Okay, so if a grower's out um, and he's got those favorable conditions for the disease and he's scouting for the disease, what is he actually gonna be looking for in the leaf? Sure, so you examine the leaf and what you're looking for is a small circular, uh, most of the time circular. Sometimes they do have irregular lesions around them, but they are a raised black uh, stromata, a, a sporulating body on that leaf. Okay. They're very identifiable because uh, you can't wipe them off, you can't pick them off, they're there. Uh, unlike the rusts and things like that where you could wipe them off the leaf and, and smear them around. They, they are there both on the top side and, and ultimately on the bottom side. So, so if a grower finds this, you know, say 10 days prior to tasseling, which is uh, about the time you'd recommend to start scouting for any disease really, um, if they'd find that disease on their leaves, how much do they need to find to be able to start saying, hey, I need to maybe do something about it? Sure, based off what we saw in 2018, once we started seeing tar spot, because its reproductive cycle is so aggressive, I really recommend is if we're seeing tar spot in our field and we're at that tassel time frame, we're getting close to that tassel time frame, I would recommend a fungicide to battle that. Okay. Um, as far as percent leaf coverage, maybe somewhere in that five to 10% leaf coverage uh, would be, be something I would target. But again, like I said, it does reproduce and infect very aggressively. Uh, so keep that in the back of your mind. So it's a scouting. very aggressive disease and fungicide something that's been been shown to give us some benefits for managing tar spot. Is there any certain uh, tips you'd give growers on selecting fungicides for tar spot control? Or? Sure, the fungicide thing, obviously it's only been around since 2015, the disease that is. And there's been a couple good years of data from our universities uh, on fungicide and tar spot. But what I would recommend and uh, what they would recommend as well would be a mixed mode of action. Okay. So something that has two or three effective mode of action against diseases in corn. Um, those could be your group threes, your group sevens, your group elevens are the hot ones. So I would read the label, uh, make sure there is at least a supplemental label for tar spot suppression on okay. those fungicides and go forward from there. Okay, so fungicides have been proven to be effective and your recommendation is using a mixed mode of action with at least two or three modes of action in there. Absolutely. Okay. So there are ways to control it. So that brings me to the next thing. You know, if a guy is trying to plan for next year uh, in, in managing tar spot, if maybe he's seen it in the past and he's seen it this year and he's having to take control measures, what are some things that a grower can do to help manage tar spot going forward? Sure. The, the biggest thing we can do to manage tar spot going forward is hone in on our hybrid selection. So okay. get with your seed representatives, your local representatives. Uh, we have all that data for you as far as uh, tolerance to tar spot. There's nothing that's 100% completely resistant to the disease, but there are hybrid differences. So hybrid selection is the number one key I look for when going into an environment that's been heavy with tar spot. When we look at things like tillage and rotation, that helps on a on a field scale on okay. one single field the thing we run into is when when tar spot is reproducing and it and it expels those spores it can be carried on wind currents and there is hard data that shows that those wind currents can drop spores up to a mile away okay wow. so as far as wow. as far as tillage on your own field that may help bury uh residue and, and reduce that inoculum load that's out there but tar spot has the ability to move from field to field. So if your neighbors have had tar spot and they're going corn again, chances are that residue uh, can harbor those those spores and then next season you could have them as well. Okay, great. Great, John. 
I want to thank you guys for joining us today for this video on tar spot. Hopefully you found some of the information very valuable. If you need additional information, please contact your local Beck representative. Again, this is Chad Kaleher with John Skinner, our Central Region Agronomy Manager, uh, July 6, 2020, uh, with some information on tar spot. Thank you guys. That's it.